Hey there, it's the Campbell again and welcome back to Koali Beach and finally all of our threes are again in one episode. So without any further ado, let's just say hello to the lady designer. Hello. And hello Mr. Silverette. Hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay, how are you? Well, also kind of okay. No, actually, I'm doing good, but kind of um, okay. Kind of okay. That, kind of okay. That's the, that's a surefire way to get people to worry about you. No, <laughs> it's it's all fine. We just had a nice trip today, and I'm just really exhausted. But that's all. Where have you I, been? I oh, we've that. been in the Eiffel. If that says anything. In the to you. Eiffel, I I only know the uh, Eiffel Tower. Yeah, no, it's it's <laughs> like the same name, but uh, with one F less, and it's um, located quite like one hour from us or so. It's a little more mountainish, and you can go mm -hmm. for nice walks, and and there's also a big lake and stuff, just to to oh, relax kind good. of a little bit. Yeah, but we just chose the wrong way, and so <laughs> in the end we were a little bit more exhausted than we thought. But yeah. Ah, <laughs> for you. Poor yeah. camel. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm fine. All right, so um, maybe just to mention, uh, because you started mentioning that already in the last episode, we are finally in the kind of wrapping up stages of this park. And mm -hmm. uh, I actually heard what you said with all my big projects to start. <laughs> so I'm not going to start anything big and new today, uh, just to already kind of spoil a little bit. Um, I'm doing a little bit of fan service, to, to be honest. I, I just fan service? Yeah, I just... Whoa! Oh, that I, sounds what are you good. doing with my Pendopo there? <laughs> uh <-huh>. I just... Um, <laughs> that is no, screwing up service. No, no, I'm... <laughs> No, I, I, I uh, <laughs> left the original one there. Um, no, I, I just um, thought, uh, just read back to um, or through some of the earliest com comments in the last episodes. And I just saw so many comments about, like, for example, toilets. Toilets, yeah. <laughs> and also, there was another one. And um, this was, uh, you've seen that already in the beginning. Um, that might not be the last time I'm touching this, but um, I just touched the dive coaster mountain in a way, and I made it a lot slicker than it was before. Because we, I think we all kind of agree that it looks nice, but it grabs too much attention from the actual park itself. And that shouldn't be the case, because the volcano is our weenie, and we, mm -hmm. we should make sure that this stays kind of the weenie. And so I slickened if that is the word, I don't know, um, the mountain already a little bit. I lowered down the biggest um, tower and I also just reduced the amount of foliage and, and just tried to mix it up with a lot of, you know, brighter terrain color to make it mm -hmm. look not that, yeah, big and, and just middle in your face, you know. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and that's basically... I, it. It works better, like I, I made some comparison screenshots to check, it's already way better, but I think there's still some room left to improve and make it even slicker. I just didn't want to start something completely new, but... That sounds good. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah this picture, we saw... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've seen this picture, I just realized. And it's <laughs> funny so how many hilarious. objects you've gone through to, to find something that you can, can make money out of. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I also had the problem that it sticks out on the lower part. And I also um, wanted to create kind of a really slick and nice table. But then again, I needed to end up with this a little bit more thicker table. But mm, I think it, it yeah. looks kind of nice in the end. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, I think it works. Yeah, And totally. it's really nice to actually see something, something very small, such a small detail that's actually functional. Although I yeah. do have to add my criticism. I am a big opponent of paying for toilets. But I don't want to. Bring, I don't want to bring politics into the series. It looks great. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a German. I'm used to it. So <laughs> just, we need to pay like for every toilet out there. So <laughs> it's. Yeah. Well, we have that too in Holland, but we're not we're not really big fan of it. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like we have also like a little bit of a payback system for um, highway toilets. That's pretty weird, though. Oh, you mean like the sunny first? Yeah. System? Yeah. Right. I don't know if do yeah. you have the same. Yeah. It's like we I'm have Sunnyfair as well, but we have to like you, you get these little retour tickets yeah. where, where you can buy things from. But in the Netherlands, you have to spend at least a certain amount of money, like beyond that retour ticket, in order to use it. So in the Netherlands, we have the same system, but it's ten times worse. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm, 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 <laughs> the thing is, I'm I'm still having a lot of problems with it um, because like you get a you know a little bit of a voucher about, um, or it's like a voucher of fifty cent, but you paid 
a euro or 70 cent i don't know some sometimes it's a euro sometimes 70 cent but then again you paid in the end i guess 20 cent but you just can use it at this one station sometimes yeah it's pretty weird and then yeah why should i do it uh, yeah anyways and then everything is expensive at a fuel station yeah. anyway so. so why would I buy anything there? But anyways, yeah, <laughs> that's, let's talk about more toilet stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, yeah, because I actually, I love the backstage stuff that's happening here. Yeah, this, same. This, I probably don't need to say it, but I, so it just good. looks amazing. Oh, then you does. might, you might like the rest of this episode. You might like Ooh. it. Um, You're going to do a lot of backstage stuff. Maybe. Aren't you? Maybe. So I have to add that neither oh, like one that. of you knows anything about what I'm going to do today. One so thing. Mm -hmm. You know one thing, yeah, but you don't. You, you, you just. I just needed somebody at least to send this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy to yeah, see it. Yeah, because but I, I'm still very curious how it will look in a park. Yeah, I just wanted to see if you do recognize it because I spent so much time in it, and and I don't know if you know the same thing, but once you look at one specific thing too long you don't even know if it looks good or not it's just there it's just how you did it but you have no idea if it's good or not because just uh -huh. just looked so much and so much time went into it and yeah i kind of had the same oh, but it's so good oh i like how you moved like the ventilators and then took the effort to actually move the cables going to it as yeah. Well. yeah i hate this <laughs> i hate just to just replicate two things exactly the same so i just wanted to mm -hmm. change at least a few minor details so yeah that's a good point especially when you're doing fences and stuff like that something that i also really like to do is just make one base that you copy around everywhere but then go back into the separate parts and just slightly change some planks and move stuff around yep. so it actually does look organic Absolutely. yeah it really does and it doesn't take too much time it's just you know it, it's not as if you would do something entirely new it's just a little bit of effort but it does mm -hmm. i think in the end result it does add so much more so I, I would also recommend always to do it like yeah always. absolutely agree on that so now oh, you're going good. underground and i have absolutely no idea what's gonna go on here <laughs> i guess it's some sort of backstage thing because you're building a, yeah, a, a, I'm so a mechanical curious. door here yep i was kind of lazy i have to say so i just i just went in with the you know i i just now question or ask um, you guys to be a little bit more imaginative I guess uh, <laughs> uh, and just to <laughs> imagine as if there would be a tunnel over there so the road is actually leading into this tunnel and this tunnel will you know pump up somewhere else again and mm. I thought that might be a cool idea to just have some some back sh backstage stuff going on without having too much effort to you know build extra roads everywhere and just mm -hmm. just have this kind of tunnel system which i guess would also make sense to have like uh, storage rooms and stuff underground because it's pretty hot in this area and especially like you know food and stuff needs to be cooled and that makes sense underground i would say and mm -hmm. so that was kind of the idea to not spend too much effort into building the road system like the backstage road system which would have been uh -huh. interesting i guess but i just didn't want to spend too much time on this and so i came up with the idea of doing this little tunnel system and yeah mm. i yeah, just threw in uh, i really like it i just threw in so much foliage to kind of remain the border of the park so that people won't actually see the backstage area as always like all oh, <laughs> right yeah that makes sense I actually, I love the idea of a tunnel, but part of me also thinks there is some space to do backstage stuff there, and I can definitely see why I wouldn't want to do it. But <laughs> honestly, if I have some time left over in, in my episode, I might try and do some boring stuff like backstage path, because, oh, I yeah. don't know, I'm really interested in doing stuff like that. Well, actually, because you said this, um, I also left space for you to do so, because in the end, there hmm. there will be the opportunity to do this. And Of course there's space oh, for you, still. <laughs> I almost choked in my drink there. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, because now you will see what I'm going to do now was like the... It's, it's basically the major part of this episode, even though it's the, the smaller thing, which is gonna be there in the end, but I... I just needed to do it, and it was. So you're a lot collecting of... a lot of items over yeah, here. I'm, because I I needed to be on a very small scale, and I have to complain again. I I am so sorry. Ooh. I have to complain. So one thing with the new update, 
you, mm -hmm. you get this perfectly scaled cars from those three DLCs, okay? And then you mm -hmm. get the pieces. That's fine. The pieces are bigger, right? But the pieces are slightly bigger. So why on earth would you do it? I mean, you, you have the 3D model. And I'm pretty sure if they modeled it in any of those amazing 3D programs, they do it like modular, okay? So they do have those modules. So why on earth would you take the extra effort to make them bigger and pump <laughs> them as single items into the game? So I don't get it. I and, feel you now. And, and, and I was like, okay, maybe you could do it like on the perfect scale. And everything I tried with those pieces just came up like, let's say, 20% too big. So in the end, mm -hmm. I, I, I am pretty happy with the build, which we will see in the end. But I have to say, it is still maybe 10 to 15% per, uh, percent too big, like on mm -hmm. a scale. And I want yeah. it to be really realistic on this. Like if you put it later on in the park, it's kind of okay. You, you wouldn't notice it at the beginning, but it is slightly too big. And that buzzes, buzzes me a lot because those pieces are just perfect. You could use them, but why? They're too big. Yeah, why? Uh. So why? Oh, it was so freaking annoying in the entire process of building. Because, like, you can see, uh, I'm, I'm trying around with every piece available there and just slapping them onto. But you can see with the archer. Yeah, those tires are yeah. half the size of a person. Yeah, so. Yeah, they are. So the archer in the, in the background is uh, mm. like my my little partner again to see how big I can go <laughs> and yeah so hmm. not really that big no. unfortunately oh yeah that so is yeah that was a lot of trial and error this time but oh, but um, you're you're building a cart for for backstage purposes where you move things around something like that yeah. maybe sweet that's basically yeah but so it will cool. be a really well known cart in in the way mm. A really well known. I think I know it or not. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe do. Yeah, and I'm seeing it. I, I, I think this will go right into the workshop after this episode. Or might already be in I don't know. Um You should do that. Yeah, so that's nice. Because I, I We need to put more stuff of this yeah. park on the workshop by the way. Yeah, we need well, to we, we will do later, right? We talked about that. Yeah, yeah, but we could also already kind of start doing it or yeah. we're just flooding the workshop in one go. Yeah, the thing about it is, um, and that maybe might be a good topic to talk about, because I just, you know, I recently also tried to go into my parks and projects to see what I can do with my pieces and stuff to do workshop elements. But then again, I just noticed that m my stuff I build is, is mostly so much into one area. It's like so detailed and just made for this specific area that it's pretty hard to do blueprints out of it and I'm kind of the guy I, I just need to if I do a blueprint I want it to be right I want it to be usable <laughs> I want it to be you know you, you just take it plop it and it works you know and if there is for example path interaction just make sure that people don't have too much stress to bring in the p pathway correctly and that's basically a big problem with some of my builds and I'm I'm it might be also the case with some quality buildings so we might just need to adjust some of those buildings slightly to make a good blueprint out of it so I'm yeah I'm not a big fan of just you know selecting one area and making a blueprint out of it because it is just there so that's maybe no, that's very mm. Actually, yeah. I, have, I have the same issue, and and that's also why I don't have a lot of blueprints on the workshop myself because I find that a lot of the stuff that I build, and this is probably uh, the case for your stuff as well. Although I think uh, Lady's stuff is actually slightly more fitted to be blueprints, like the stuff that comes out of Wonderland is actually mm -hmm. very useful for other people as yeah, well. Yeah, really. But mm -hmm. I, I think my problem is mostly that it's it's only usable in context, and a lot of the objects kind of need the context of the rest of the area to even be used and on their own really aren't that good whatsoever. Your stuff is really good. What are you saying? <laughs> I was also take, for instance, what? take for instance, like, um, I think the bridge from Garuda kind of works out, but it's one of the rare, rare pieces that sort of works out. But even still, it's supposed to fit in Garuda. And yeah. if you take it out of that context, it doesn't really look that good. It's too small for most streams that you'll be building it's just uh it's not one size fits all it's really just one size and yeah. you have to build around it and um, yeah that's true especially if you look um well for instance at 
there's there's nothing that I'm gonna be able to blueprint out of Volvara, for instance. There's not too much that I blueprinted out of Fantasy Valley, besides the fact that most of the buildings go over the blueprints cap. They're also <laughs> just um, they're meant to fit together. So you've got all yeah. these different facades that don't actually form a single building because they're technically one entire building that are made to look as if they're all kinds of separate buildings but without all of that context around it it actually doesn't look so good so that's it's a hard point to get to um but it's just my stuff isn't as, as universal it's not as versatile it's not something that i think you can put in any park and use it yeah and that's yeah. basically the the idea i had about my clean valley that's because i wanted to address that issue and I'm, I'm basically trying to get this done in this park way better than before so i think that's a fair comment to say so that it's really the case for most of our builds like as you said i think ladies wonderland is one of the single um ex excluding examples in this kind of road. it's it's a super blueprint yeah, it actually it's, it's one of the oh, most well thank you that sounds is. really really simple now Wait, no, I mean that in a good way. It's like Definitely. it's like the buildings that you can take out of it work in almost any context. You can take them out of Wonderland and put them in whatever park you're building and it just works. Yeah. And yeah. that's not something you can as easily do with Rudy's or mine buildings. And I think yeah, that's, that's a really, that's really true. nice comment. And it's also a, bit, a big advantage. So because those, you, you can use them. That's pretty much it. You can use them and that's pretty cool about it. And also, you know, I started to finish my main street from camel kingdom and i also noticed that i have to yeah i just have to do so much stuff to make them blueprintable and i did so mm -hmm. but um in the end yeah it's something you have to look into from the very beginning i guess uh, because it's always a little bit tricky afterwards to make them work but anyways yeah i guess i guess actually one last thing that i still wanted to say is the one thing that quality beach is going for it probably is that it's so large and it has the opportunity to create so many blueprints that even if the blueprints don't really fall into being able to fit into different contexts a, a context at least uh there are so many of them that you might as well just make an entire quality beach theme and there are a lot of buildings that can fall into that like the, the station buildings for all the rides yeah. might as well just be station building blueprints the lamp posts the fences all, all that kind of stuff can all just be put on a workshop yeah I think. that's yeah absolutely yeah that's that's totally true but then again i really think that some of the blueprints don't have will have more pieces in it than we can blueprint <laughs> So that might be yeah. That might be a problem. But we'll see. I mean, <laughs> but, I mean oh well, like... we will we will check it out in August, I guess, what is uh uh yeah, able to be in a workshop as a blueprint and of, I think we still want to upload the whole park or not? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so that was the moment can use for viewers. Blueprints and... <laughs> yeah. Just imagine a few viewers like in the moment, are we go? No! Like everyone that is asking L in every video, is this part going to be in the workshop? Yes, it is going to be in the workshop. The only and issue is that... separate blueprints. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if, if it's going to be runnable on everybody's computer. Because it's, it's already borderline note, yeah. not runnable on mine anymore, but... Uh, I'm hey, also starting to have a lot of issues already. So for me, uh, by the way, just sorry, I have to complain about you, lady. You just gave me the park oh. with like <laughs> 4,000 people in it. And, and my <laughs> machine was like, fuck my life, I'm going to die. Uh, I'm what? sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it took you like half an hour, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to, it, uh, yeah, because of, like eight get frames. Rid of all the people. Like I couldn't even <laughs> speed up the game because then frames drop so much down again so that there is... Oh. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, uh, well, I just like it when people are in my parts. <laughs> <laughs> I so... like the noise and I like to open all the rides and stuff. That's at least what I normally do the last... It was, since I have a new computer, I really love that. I can totally relate to that if I would have the same computer. <laughs> <laughs> same. Uh... Sorry, guys. But yeah, um, I just want to, to grab up the situation and um, uh, talk about backstage stuff again. Oh. So um, I, I don't know is if this is going to be another tunnel. Yes, uh, but, awesome. but th this is not the tunnel which leads to um, the the area uh, which it, you have seen before. That's basically oh. a tunnel to actually get to the park for speci uh -huh. specific people, 
let's put it that way. Specific people. Specific people, or maybe specific delivery services. Ooh, and, sounds um, good. Yeah, so what I did is, and because that will be the next part of this uh, time lapse. Uh, by the way, have you seen which kind of card I did there? So it was in the end finished. Yes, yeah, Sil, have you seen it? I I didn't really <sighs> recognize it to be honest. It no. looks a bit like a, it's a golf cart. Yes. Yes. Bonus oh, I points. thought you were re referencing like a specific cart in popular culture, and I was missing out <laughs> on what exactly it was. But it's just a general golf cart yeah. then. It is. Oh, yes. you. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, basically this is the tunnel area and I wanted to use l some textures later on. I, you didn't see it in the, or you won't see it in the time lapse. Um, uh, but I, I will later on make kind of a, you know, a texture to put on the billboard that it looks like a tunnel where like the delivery services can come from in a way. Cool. That's basically the idea. What are you doing there? Oh, I just uh, needed to... Um, extrude a wall out of a blueprint of Mr. Oh. Silverett's restaurant and I just <laughs> saw that the wall was standing in this kind of little backyard area we had with our blueprints and it was still connected to the restaurant so I just moved out the entire restaurant <laughs> the whole time so uh, that was like kind of the little issue there but yeah yikes Wait, you 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 did undo that, right? The restaurant is still there. <laughs> no, that's no, it's for gone. You, so. No, <laughs> no, it's it's still there. I just, uh, I just, he left no. work for you, you know. <laughs> yeah. So please, so the next episode, rebuild your restaurant and then again make the backyard connection path. Please <laughs> do it. <laughs> no, it's just fine. I also awesome. fixed the bridge. You will see later on on the pool area. I just I, I don't know what happens there oh, and why that, on that teeth, right? Yeah. I just Yeah. I just have that. no oh, idea yeah. what was happening there because basically uh, I checked it in one of our older uh, safes and it was one building like all of the three bridges are one building. And the only bridge missing was the biggest one. And that was kind of hmm. strange because like I I didn't see anybody of you going into the building deleting exactly like one bridge and leaving all you know, like, yeah. you, you could have deleted it by accident. That might be, you know, might be the case, but... It's so weird Why just one? I mean, yeah. But anyways, I just fixed it, and I think it's uh, still in the footage later on. Cool. All right, that's good. Yeah. Actually, if I can complain very quickly about the most minor thing in this game, all the great elements that we need to be recolorable are recolorable right now, but still, this ba this backstage container that we have here cannot be changed from its default blue it's position. Just plan a coaster blue. blue? I, well, I, I what if I want to have a black container? Air box? Or green? Um, I, I can't imagine. But... Um, you mm -hmm. maybe build <laughs> on your own. <laughs> Look what he's building. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a fair uh, enough comment. A black container. <laughs> Actually, it's gonna be a silver one, but you can recolor oh, it wow, in the way true. you want to. It's silver, yeah, but it's, it's also it's going really to be nice. a self-advertising. Or hashtag. this is actually really awesome, but it adds yeah. to my argument that that other container still needs to be recoverable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it definitely needs to be. Yeah. Oh, so the only issue so is I just made this kind of iron. Um, how is this even called? This, like like the top thing to to kind of close the lid i suppose yeah so this one is made out of iron because i thought it might be you know most pictures i looked at it, it's maybe it's a sort of plastic sometimes but it's most of those you know industry bins trash bins are having those like iron top thing on it so i just use this mm -hmm. one but That's yeah really it's, good it's just a simple one and you can recolor the um simple art shapes on the left and right side and you can also take the um, pieces on the front and the back which are basically those iron beams and I, I thought that those iron beams are kind of cool because the texture is slightly different so that was yeah just generally it's really uh, nice yeah it's very convincing oh absolutely I actually thought for a minute if you kind of lower the fronts change the color and put a grill with some fake steaks on it <laughs> you've, got an, you've got an outdoor grill a barbecue yeah. a we really need barbecues cool barbecue in thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It actually wouldn't be too far really off stage. Like nowadays, it's all hip to have like a barrel, an oil drum, yeah. barbecue, stuff like that. Definitely. This yeah. is a really cool looking uh, work shed so far, by the way. Yeah, so I, I was just so trying nice. out a little bit with, like, also trying to blend a little bit like more modern stuff and also, like, you know, the the pieces we use in 
I because I was like, wait, okay, I, that might sound really strange now, but when I was building this area, you know, um, I was kind of, okay, we are in kind of Polynesian area, Hawaii maybe, so w what kind of stuff do they have there? Like, you know, it's at the resort, it might be like a five-star resort, otherwise, uh, you know, that stuff we, we built <laughs> would make no sense. So they kind of have some modern stuff as well, but in the end, this park is, you know, themed really traditional and with like a lot of wooden elements and stuff like that so i didn't want to make kind of a modern backyard area but i mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that you can really tell from the area it, they, they do have modern stuff as well so mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. that was basically really cool tea yeah, the, yeah really the nice yeah. i also love how you're putting all of the elements that are actually used to build the buildings in the park like uh -huh, the, yeah. boxes, the lamps and the logs in there although Absolutely. these workers at, at the park were very sloppy in putting down those logs those are not neatly arranged logs. <laughs> mm -mm, no, no, no 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 it's it's hot it's getting siesta oh wait siesta somewhere else but <laughs> 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 I, I think you're getting it um but yeah I, awesome. Okay, this is this is super unrelated. So I'm sorry, I, d I have no segue for this, but I recently discovered this amazing thing while watching Vsauce, and I'm super, super late on this. Um, but apparently, Hawaii has this Lahaina noon, which is one day in the year, I believe, or two days in the year even, when the sun is completely straight up in the sky, completely straight up in the sky in Hawaii. And this is, this is a rare uh, the phenomenon, not just in terms of time, but also in terms of locations, because there are just a few locations on the earth where this actually happens. And it happens at Hawaii. And the weird thing is, things have no shadows, because the sun is completely up in the sky. So if you look at like any kind of pole or thing that just moves straight up and doesn't have like an overhanging thing and has no shadows, and it just looks mm -hmm. unreal. And <laughs> that was just something random that I just thought of. That was really interesting relating to, to uh, Koala Beach. I don't think there's a way to get it in Planet Coaster, but it would be really interesting to see how it would look because it's it's just so Absolutely. weird. It looked like a, a badly rendered video game when things have no shadow. I, I remember, I can't tell with who, but you guys know, but I remember with, with some guys where t we were testing for a collab, something with the sun, and like when it was completely up, it was um, at 12 o'clock 37 something like that it was really weird so to, to have like the the less shadow you want yeah it was so weird okay but, but it's not really that realistic i guess yeah but super, really, I, I didn't yeah. actually know about this phenomena phenomena is it called i guess mm -hmm. i um, never heard of it either but yeah, the really idea cool. is that yeah. there's always a place on the earth where the sun shines in an exact 90 degree angle on it but you know it doesn't happen at night yeah. most Time, the sun shines directly somewhere at sea or it's in a in, in location that's not really inhabited but it happens at Hawaii as well and it's it's a weird thing oh, okay. I really want to see that yeah, later that on. I'm gonna look it up sounds really yeah cool. it's, it's called Lahaina Noon and Lahaina it's, Noon. the first pictures you'll see of it you'll probably think that they aren't real <laughs> really strange. is it that weird I'll, okay, I'll actually, I'm definitely I'll gonna see. yes thank you that's cool awesome so yeah, I mean we we have plenty of time talking about stuff like that because I'm basically just doing the backyard stuff <laughs> still, um, and I did some custom textures for it just to mention that because I I was kind of yeah just trying around with textures a little bit more and now it seems to be fixed at least a little bit with the um, at least with the lighting stuff we still have no mm -hmm. watch out specular maps. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I was missing that last time when Sylv and I talked about um, the specular maps, and I was al always talking about spectacular maps, which might oh. be spectacular, <laughs> but they are spectacularly wrong. <laughs> okay, sorry, I, I just should stop. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, but yeah, then again, I have still some others um, made because I, I thought we need a little bit of a parking area for our little golf carts um over here and yeah oh that's a awesome. sexy concrete texture yeah sexy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just i just um added a few just decals makes me think it, of so. the thing you said two years the last time in the afterlink <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should try to keep this video uh pg-13 that's what i'm allowed to do here uh, okay just go on <laughs> sorry rudy no no it's fine it's fine uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, oh, the, 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 the concrete silence. texture, I'll say, is spectacular. 
Yeah, yeah. it's really nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh. Can you can you sh next time when you send the park over just share it, the textures as well because I didn't did. got them I last the time. Oh too. really? <laughs> they were self to blame, but it really <laughs> sucks that it just can't go with the saved file yeah, because yeah. you, you was... need to do it else with with the workshop as well. It really yeah, sucks. Yeah, I, I know why it is the case, and I think they can't come up with a solution that it is exactly in the safe file but what I would wish for if I might make an ask over here front here if you're listening I also dropped it already into the comments uh, areas where we can do it but a nice idea would be that with every save you make from from a park and if you do a blueprint out of the park for example that it creates automatically like a zip file with the textures used in this kind of park and just names yeah. it after the park that's it so we do have to upload it manually okay that's that's fair because of license stuff and you know um, so they don't have to deal with it but it would be mm -hmm. nice if at least did the the park file created themselves because like I've I've uh, tons of textures already in and yeah. you know I don't know which exactly I used in quality so I, I would <laughs> end up with like sending you all of those or maybe I miss out some and it's kind of you know yeah I don't want to terrible. I don't want thank to you Rudy thank you for all the work <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at least I know which ones I used. So next time, well, actually, I sent it over to you with this file as well. But yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but then again, Mr. Silf, because you were already complaining about how people arranged their stuff um, in the delivery, delivery area, we have now a little bit of a uh, second vehicle you can slap on yeah, to I, this one. Yeah, I love this. I love what's going on in here. And uh, then they might, you know, take the pillars again and rearrange them a little bit more nicely in another area because they now can grab them and move them around. True. Really awesome. So that was, yeah. So basically, this is what I did in I the entire episode. Uh, preparing, you know, an area for the park. So to finish it up finally with also some backstage stuff and... Yeah, really, just a little bit of really an cool. aspect of realism into it. Awesome. I, I love the cards. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. They my favorite really, really awesome. Episode, probably. <laughs> Especially with uh, with all of the extra vehicles and attached to it. That's so nice. <laughs> and I'm glad that we finally have some backstage stuff going. Yeah, I just yeah, wanted to, to go into it a little bit more in general. So I, I just thought, okay, let's, let's do it over here. And um, yeah, so now... Mm, I'm hope I'm not going to destroy any plans of you which you had at the beginning. Oh no, I had no plans for this. <laughs> okay, because I I saw so many comments about okay, this is Quali Beach, but where's the beach? And like I was like, okay, there might be a beach, a small beach, but is there a beach? And so I decided to just go in and and make kind of a little beach at least. Cool. So are, really happy are the guests going to be able to go? And not yet, but I'm also trying to look into it. Um, the, the problem, though, is that we just can use the um, natural path, I guess. And then we do mm -hmm. have all these wooden things sticking out. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we, we find another solution. But for the moment, it's just, you know, for the eyes. Mm, okay, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Well, it's really nice on the eyes as well. So I'm not complaining. Absolutely. And then again, no one can go on the water slides as well, so <laughs> yeah. it's totally fine. Actually, you're right. Yeah, you do have a bit of an entrance to the beach from that path. So it might not technically work, but it definitely is something that you can imagine the guests yeah. would be able to go on. True. Oh, that's so nice. I love oh, it. Oh, did you steal those from the swimming pool? Of course I did. <laughs> I was a little lazy, sorry. Uh, he just stole his own chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dare you. <laughs> but there we are. That was it. That was it. Well, I just lost my words there. <laughs> but yeah, you might just already see some cinematic shots. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was it. I hope you liked what I did in this episode. And I, I hope I, I didn't start too much new. <laughs> which mm -hmm. you need to be uh, upset. <laughs> well, at least you finished it. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Yeah, it was actually a, a really awesome episode. Absolutely. I totally agree on that. I'm so happy that we three again managed to be back in one episode together. Like it was it like three episodes already? Or four even? Without all of our three? Could be. I don't know. 
All I right. think so, yeah. So, yeah, actually it was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I think there's not much more to say about that. So, next time I lost track a little bit. It should be on Sylphs? Sylphs, Sylphs. yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So, then next time Sylph is going to do some backstage path, maybe. No, maybe. Uh, nobody, nobody's forcing him to do anything. Maybe he's coming <laughs> up with a hypercoaster. Huh? Huh? I think I'll finish we shall see. The, uh, the entrance area of the, uh, the mine train, actually. Oh, it yeah. still needs a little bit of stuff around there. That's right, yeah. That's a little bit empty. But also That's some good. backstage stuff. We'll see. All right, cool. So yeah, as I said, thank you for being here. And thank you for having me. us. Yeah, as always, uh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> and I hope, guys, you still like this and yeah, prepare yourself for kind of the final stages of Quali Beach. We're not going to tell, as we said, uh, how how much or how close we are to the final one. But yeah, yeah, mm. yeah four I episodes, think... three. Who knows? See, we don't have a clue. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> but, anyway. but we 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 are already planning a little bit how we're gonna do the ending right yeah yeah so it's gonna be nice all right guys so awesome. thank you for watching thank you sylph and lady again and see you then next time on <laughs> sylph's channel bye 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 guys